So, we're now going to look at a tool called a SIPOC. Now what SIPOC stands for is Supplier, Inputs, Process, Outputs and Customer. Now this is a really useful tool to use in the define phase. Because what this gives us is it gives us a very high level view of our process that we're looking to investigate. As well as that, it also tells us the resources that are used in that process and the resources that come out of that process. As well as that, we also get to see the suppliers and the customers. So basically the major stakeholders who are involved in the overall process that we're looking at. In doing the SIPOC in the define phase and giving you these high level process steps, it also helps you later on in the DMAIC process when you get into the measure phase and you start looking at process maps. It gives you the starting blocks essentially for your process map. Okay, so how do we put SIPOC together? Well, over many experience and a lot of time that we've been doing this, we found that the simplest way is to start with the process itself. So the first thing that you do is you put in your first process step. Now imagine for example we're looking at a high street coffee shop and they want to look at their process of making a pot of coffee that their customers can use when they come into their shops. So the first step in that process would be to insert a filter in the coffee machine itself. Okay. The next thing to do with the SIPOC is to put the last process step in. This then basically frames the process in the area that we have. The final step would obviously be to pour that coffee. So now what we have is we have the start and the end of our process and now it's a case of filling in the steps in between. Now remember these are very high level steps so we don't really want to go into the the real nitty gritty of what happens at each stage, we want to keep this as high as possible. So once the filter has been inserted, the next logical step would be to add the coffee grounds to the coffee machine. Following that, we would then pour water into the coffee machine and then the next step would be to switch on the coffee machine. So as you can see now, we have the process of making that pot of coffee for the high street coffee shop broken down in a high level overview.